bring to you new tutorials about how to use Coral Grow, how to design your own website. Very soon we start the we start posting the tutorials or the video tutorials about how to design blogs and websites, how to design e-commerce websites, how to design your own online portfolio using the various uh, CMS. But today we'll be use, we'll be teaching you how to use Coral Grow. And our lesson today will be about um, how to design a poster, an obituary poster. So please subscribe to our channel. The subscribe button is down. Just click on the subscribe button and subscribe to the channel so that after subscribing to the channel, make sure you click on the bell icon so that you'll be the first person to receive our tutorials whenever we post them. Okay, so without wasting much time, let's start with our tutorials. So if you launch your uh, Coral Draw fresh, this will be your welcome screen. And so I have to create a new document. And I'll, I'll click on this plus sign, that's new document sign. I'll type obituary. And then our funeral poster, it can be anything. My size, I'll let it remain the A3. And because I'll be printing this poster, the primary color mode should be CMYK because you'll be printing it. If you will not be printing it only for online purposes, you'll be sharing it electronically, then make sure you click on the RGB. So after that, let's click on OK to come to our working area. So this is our working area. This is where we'll be designing our poster and everything. OK, so today we'll be designing a poster using I don't want us to use any living presence. So we'll be using this picture here. That's our former president. Former president JJ Rollins. We'll be using this picture to do our practices using designing poster. So I want us you to pay attention, make sure you follow all the steps. If there is something you need more clarification, make sure you comment below. Leave your comment, ask us questions, we will attend to you, we will answer your questions on time. We have people monitoring everything, so you can ask us anything at all, and then we will reply to you. Okay, so, we have our poster here, uh, sorry, our image here. So the first thing we do, I would like us to remove the background, to crop our picture, let's remove the background. So, I will select my two. For the cropping, I would like to use this one, B spline, this pair two. I'll pick it. And then one thing I will advise, make sure you always zoom your picture. Zoom it out to the extent that you see all the edges. So zoom it out and then you click with your two. Click click and then you go please when removing the bag make sure you take your time to get it smooth get it smoothly if your background is not removed where your design it will distort your designs you will not get the best design so take your time when you get to the edge here, just move your mouse pointer up, it will shift for you. So you don't need to panic. I'm going to be fast with mine because I don't want us to waste time this. But when doing your own, you can pause the video, take your time and remove it nicely. So there are several ways you can remove background in uh, Coral Draw. Maybe in our next video, if only you go right, I will compile all of the ways and then record on it.
okay so when you get to the edge make sure you click on the edge then you have it like this you see this place it's not good so let's go and pick our shape too and we can adjust it like this now we can remove the we can release our tool now the shape that you just draw is already selected so hold down your shift key on your keyboard and select the image at the background select the image so all the two have been selected now if you come to your properties toolbar you will see this so pick the third one intercept now you can select the picture again and delete it select this one delete it mine is not properly removed as i said when doing it take your time to do your own work let it be nice okay so with my picture being ready this we are going to be fast with it so i have i'll pick my rectangle to give it my border and then i'll press my p to position it in the center now let's get a nice background for this so a background we need a background i will go to my browser let me open my browser and then i will just type white background i need a white background so white background something that like just click on this so i have to wait for it it stays painted so wait for it okay now it's okay put on it and the size is 1136 by 936 i think it's okay so you right click save image save image and choose desktop and then you save it now let's minimize this we we'll go to desktop or oh, let, let's bring it desktop and i'm going to copy my image the background I've just downloaded, so I'll copy it. Okay, so I have my image here. So first, I have to make sure I power clip this image in the background so i'll pick it using my right uh, right mouse button click and drag it and i'll leave it here then i'll choose power clip inside All right so then i'll come and click on edit select, select this one pick my transparency to and then I will do something like this. Okay, I think it's okay for now. If you look at the picture here, the size reduced to 70, uh, 67 by 67 DPI. So it's making the picture not that bright. So I'll come to this bitmaps convert image convert to bitmap and then i would make sure the resolution is 300 and click on ok ok so it's a bit good now but whenever you are searching for image for your background make sure you look for the big one look for the one that the size is a little big mine is big though but because of the way i downloaded it so it's not all that good so after that click on finish now we have our background 
we can put this here, bring it forward. So control home. Bring it forward. Okay. So let me get my test to my test to and I'll type celebration of life. I'll pick bands. Script. Okay, glad this. So I'll break it apart using shortcut control K. Break apart this one too, and I'll change the font style of this to something a bit of a stylish, something like this. Okay. So something like this. I'll come back to this again. But for now, let me give it this color. Good. Okay. Okay, so I'll put this, pick the image, pick my transparency too, and I'll make sure I transfer it here a bit. I don't want it to be showing. Okay. And I'll pick my triangle too. So here we have the invitation of the family. That's normal. I usually start with uh, something, something. That's the kings and the chiefs and all those things. Like standing invitation to the uh, to sympathizers and friends, so that's where you put their names. But this time, in this tutorial, I will not get the time to to type all those names. So what I'll do is, in graphic design, when you are designing and then you need this, we have something called Lorem Epsom. So I will come here. I'll type Lorem Epsom. And then I'll come and pick. It's a test generator to give us test that we use to fill our space for now. So we'll be using that one as. So I'll pick something like this. So up to here. 
as the names of the chiefs and the kings that are extending the invitation. So I'll come here, I'll pick my test to position it here and click inside. Now I'll paste my test in it. Um, I think I have to change the size to Eighteen uh, twenty four uh, twenty. Okay. Um, I'll remove outline. So there's no outline for it. Now with this test, I need to like that. You can select all and then you cause anti drop cache if you choose the drop cache to do something like this. So the first letter will just be put in the listing nicely like that. I'll select it and then I will come here. Make sure all the sizes are equal so that my test already will be very nice. Okay, then here I will have his name now. I have Jerry, Jerry John Rollins. So his name or color, um, I want something like this. Okay, then I'll choose um, Bernard. Let me see. Okay. This is a bit nice, so I'll do enter. Then I can bring something like this. Give it a scala. No, this remove outline. No, this is I mean did this. So right. This yes, this is okay. So what am I coming to type here? I will type just his name. I check his name is seventy-three. Oh, H mostly is H seventy three. So it's going to be Ben by scripts. And it should be white. Okay. I think our work is getting form, it's getting shaped small so. so let me break apart this and make sure I extend this a bit. Then I'll put something, usually we say something like where the bed at the dead took place, so it can be which which took place on the something something let me just use today's day on the 24th 
of February 2022. But actually, running this there took place in 2020. Okay, let me put 2020. 2020. So, dates people also use. Where, where it took place, so maybe it can be who's starting there took place at Kolebu Hospital or what, what you can, it depending on you and how you want it to be. So people also use when it took place, some piece, where it took place. So as a designer, you make sure you ask the family or you use your own when you go call the attention for them to see so that if anything for you to rectify or edit, you quickly edit it and then you have them you call the attention to give you the correct listing details you should use and then okay so let's proceed to the most important part the most important part now i'm going to convert this picture to bitmaps again because i transparent this side so if i did convert it and i pick the transparent to it to pick that side and I don't want that to happen, so let me come here and then I'll convert it to bitmaps 300 again. Then I can pick my transfer to now, I can transfer this side also. So, okay, so you see this side is gone, this one is also gone. So, if you don't do that, you can't transfer that this side. And anytime you pick the transparency to only one side will go. So if you transfer one side and you want to transfer in the uh, you want to transfer in the other side, make sure you convert it to bitmaps again. And then you get a chance to do that. Okay, so the most important part, so that's the funeral arrangements and all the dates and one wine, what whatever it is. You have to make sure you let all those things come on it. But we'll be using Lorraine episode, so we'll be finished soon. We we'll don't have we'll not waste my time on that. So let me what do one thing. This one I want to use instead of area, let me use times times new Roman. Okay, this one is a bit good. And this one so I'll use times new Roman. Yeah, so I'll use times new Roman. Yeah, a bit okay. Okay, so let's say something. Um, this is what we are supposed to do. You know, people of the caliber of J.J. Rowling's minds, Bahamas, have a lot of details that will appear on the listing. So as a designer, you have to bring clarity to your work. You have to make sure you divide your work that will let people understand what actually you are talking about. Right, so let me do something. I'm going to divide it down here, this side into three, right? So let me just pick my two point line, and then I'll get my straight line. Okay, then I'll duplicate it. Okay. I can pick my relaf to bring something. Now let me pick a rectangle to draw a nice rectangle here. duplicate it and I'll duplicate it again okay so I have three different columns here I have three columns so these three columns will help me to put enough information on the work right you have me to put in enough information so let me shift this a little bit up uh, 
Let me just see if it's operating. Okay, all right, this is okay. And I'll come here, pick my test tool, position it like this, and click on it. Here also, like that, click on it. Here also, like that, and click on it. And then I'll select the three, the three boxes, and remove outline. Oh, so this, they are just columns that I can put text, right? So let me go back again to my, uh, how do you call it, Lorraine episode. So I'll pick something like this. Let's say from here to here. Pick it, copy, minimize it, pick my test tool, and then I'll paste it inside. Enter, paste again, something like that. Paste it. And I'll paste it again. So paste it. And I'll paste it again. Okay. So here you have to type something. Um, we call it funeral arrangement. Uh, as follow. No arrangement are as follow. Put something here like that. Change the size to 18. And the board. Change it to times. So, full arrangement are as follow. So here we have, on the funeral poster, it depends on the arrangement, right? So you yourself are going to talk, we can talk about something like the barrier service. So here can be, let's say, um, barrier, barrier service. Barrier service. Then you bought this one, something like that. Barrier service. Then here can be something like the dressing code can come in. We have dressing code. So let me put something here. Let's see. Um, dress code. Good. Then here we have how do you call it? We do. Those are the things. So, but when we are designing, make sure you get the correct information. So we do. We do is already. Then we have. Sorry, children. Children. Board it. Then we can have something like siblings. Siblings. So siblings, okay. 
Okay. So that is it. And then the second column too, you can arrange something to them. Uh, maternal cousins, paternal in-laws, chief mourners, and all this. So you arrange those things nicely in here. And your this thing is close to finishing, something like that. With the top here, there are a lot of things you can do to it. I can put this in different color just to, for you to match this, something like this. And I'll put something. Okay, so with this, your uh, how do you call it? Funeral poster is close to finishing. In fact, you are done. You just take your time to change a lot of things, make it neat. Let your this thing your type. If the information is are no managers increase the size so that this place will be readable. Make sure you always take your time. Make sure this place is readable. Let it be readable to the public, right? So this is a simple poster, right? That is what you can do when you come to poster. You can change the color, do anything. If let's say this is celebration of life, so it's supposed to be white because the person is holding now, the person at this cross age 70, and so it's celebration of life. So it does rise in the white color. Yours can be uh, if what a shock and you need red, you can change it to red. There are a lot of designs you can, uh, how do you call it, use when you come to design a uh, formula poster, right? And then we have some of the uh, designs that are very simple. You don't need all these informations, right? So design is simple. Something like this. Let's say this. I want it to be just simple, there's not if, no information. So here will be the same as this. I'll copy and do it here. So just a four square information. I'll come and copy my image from here. And then I'll bring it to this page. All right. Have it like this. Then I can, how do you call it, copy the name format also. Copy that one to bring it here. But this time, very, 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 very huge a bit, send it somewhere. Okay, then you can just put funeral arrangement, funeral arrangement, also copy it. I 
uh, as follows. I just pardon this. So with this much, you don't need much information because that is just there will be no way keeping something like that. Something like here. Yeah. So there will be no way keeping. No way keeping. Then you come here again and say barrier service. Um, barrier service. Then you come down to the time will be maybe eight o'clock a.m. On is it Friday or whatever it is? If it's Friday, it's, you know, usually it's Saturday. Twenty fourth. Is it? Should we use the same list? Okay, twenty fourth February. 2020. Then you come down, you see what the funeral services will be live stream. Or uh, funeral services will be what anything at all, just add it on it, but this one will now if you look at what I'm trying to teach you here, you look at with these posters, it's simple, quite simple. You don't need much information. It, let me tell you, the more you add a lot of shapes in your design, the more chaos you create, or the more you, how do you call it, you make your work look complicated and very, 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 in fact, ugly, right? Or nasty, as you say. So, please, in designing, it doesn't matter. People will tell you, use 20 colors, use what, what colors. Do not use colors more than three or four. Let's say at most four. Right. And your work will be nice. Those of you who are used to this very different, different, different colors. It's not advisable. Do not be. So I will move there. Put the nines. Control form to bring it forward. Send this up a little bit. Then I'll put here. What should I put here? Okay, let me put here. Um, how do you call it? Dress code. Do it black. Black. And what again can I put? Okay. Uh, what should I do? Okay, state barrier. State barrier or something like that. Yeah, because it's a president, so break it apart. Pick this one. And I'll change it to 14. Good. So fourteen or uh, sixteen. Good. Eighteen. Eighteen. Okay. Though it's nice, it's not showing so. Let me change the color to white. Let me see something. Yes, white is better. I can just increase this side a bit. Mm. 
Okay. Something like this. So if your design is simple like this, it makes your work nice. At times, one of the challenge with this design is the picture you get will not be nice. But don't worry. I'll be showing you how to edit some of the pictures to get the best look with the help of uh, Cora Photo, Cora Photo, or Photoshop, right? I will be recording in one of the coming days. I'll record and put it there. So let's just take with this. You can just do something here. Yeah, maybe most people do this. I don't encourage it unless the family asks me to do before I do this thing. So we say, all friends and sympathizers are cordially invited. Exclamation. So I'll put it here. Change it to let's Okay, so something like this, I can do it italics or better still just change. It's not supposed to be that readable, so you can do it something like this. Something like this is nice. right. Simple. So with this design, I've not used anything special like that, but because the colors are carefully selected also so it makes the work simple we have this one with all the information is needed right if the information is much you use this one if not just do something simple like this right at the end the family can give you a message you write it here it can be it is with a heavy heart that we that we what we announce the passing of our beloved don't don't add the name because right from here the name is here too that will continue so you don't need to add any name so just change to 16 and put it something System or better stay. Let it be aligned. So please, don't feel free to reduce the size so that it will be in line. Simple. So this is it. a funeral poster. This one is simple. Next time I'll try and design the complicated one, the one with the red and some mirrors and all those things. So please don't don't forget to subscribe so that you'll be receiving all the videos and also the website creation videos. They will soon be coming. If you want to know how to design websites, how to design your own blog and start making money, you can monetize it and start earning money from Google. You want to design websites for companies and be charging it that would be your side job or a freelancer and all those things please just click on the subscribe button and as and when those videos will be ready you will just be notified i'm going to do it locally to the other, to the extent that you follow all the steps and everything will be included how to host it how to get a free domain and everything i'll be adding everything to it so please subscribe Thank you for watching this video. Thank you.